you're looking at two types of sedum that we grow here at Highland Hill Farm. The far one with the bright yellow flowers is a low grower. It will have a bright yellow flower and that's as tall as it will get. You can see it's starting to cascade down the walls. The one closer to where the camera is is a darker green in color. It too has a yellow flower and the red that you see are the seed pods. It will also cascade down walls, happily sit in full sun, bake hard in rock walls and thrive. Another nice thing about this is that it comes back year after year. It slowly spreads. You can see it's filling in so I don't have to weed and it is considered deer resistant. Sedum can be encouraged to grow in rock walls by simply finding a crevice in between the rocks. Then you take a small piece of sedum with some roots and if you can find a little bit of dirt, you can tuck it in. If not, you simply push it in between the cracks and give it a chance. Lamb's ear is a hardy perennial most known for its woolly leaves, not its flowers. Lamb's ear is a hardy perennial when a strong growing plant with thick white woolly foliage valued as a dense, low growing, spreading, bedding plant in your landscape. Lamb's ear works well when filling an area in your landscape and as a summer perennial in the border. With pink, purple flower spikes during the summer season, the foliage provides a striking silver color and is unique in its velvety, soft textural qualities. The plant grows best in full sun and well-drained soil and can tolerate poor soil conditions in zones 4 through 7. The lamb's ear is usually planted one to three foot apart as it will spread depending upon its variety. It's easy to grow, just don't overwater because you can get leaf rot. Avoid conditions by overcrowding by dividing dense growth every three or four years. It's an easy to grow plant and it is also deer resistant. If you need some, give us a call at Highland Hill Farm in Fountainville, PA at 215-651-8329.